Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. I'll make this short and sweet today. I am doing a straight pour. I'm making things difficult on myself because I'm doing a straight pour and I'm using three cups. So that's going to be very interesting to see how this all shapes out. Also, for those of you who are uh, on the fence about going to the Fluid Art Experience, please make your decision very soon because Lee said that the uh, closing date is happening very, very soon. I'm sorry, I don't really know the exact date the closing date is, but if you're going to register, you need to do it very, very soon. There's going to be five, well, technically six artists there. It's hosted by Massey Art Studios. you got Lee and Jeremy. Also is going to be there, Mina Villegas. There's going to be Sarah Mack. There's going to be Kathleen with Cause Creations. And there's going to be Karen with Waterfall Acrylics. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's in Plano, Texas. So if you are interested in going, please go to the Fluid Art Experience website and get your classes registered before you can't do it. All right, guys, I'll get you down on that canvas. So we'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So what we've got here is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. It is taped and push pinned on the back, made sure it's nice and level. <coughs> so today I am trying to make things even harder for myself apparently. I am going to do a three cup straight pour on this canvas. So my colors I'm using today, I'm using Deco Arch 24 karat gold metallics that I'm dropping. I'm using Amsterdam's pearl red. I am using Amsterdam's Permanent Green Light. I'm using Amsterdam's Pyro Red. I am using Artist Law Flow Acrylic White mixed with the Deco Art Satin Enamels White mixed with Amsterdam's Primary Yellow. So I've got three things here. And so this yellow has created this gorgeous um canary color so it's not bright like the yellow out of the tube and then i'm also using artist law flow acrylic black so. 20 by 24 we need about 17 ounces of paint i am going to make 18 because i always round up that way i have enough paint on the canvas I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but I have painted my sides and edges white, so I make sure I get enough coverage out of this. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way. And I think what I'm gonna do is layer them all at the same time. I'm pouring the medium that I'm using today is something that I don't normally use. It is the De La Rowney Gloss Medium. Now, this stuff is super, super thick. I mean, disgustingly thick. Like I had to add so much water to get it to thin down. So we'll see how it reacts with everything. So let's put a little... And this paint is thick too. Gold at the bottom of each. And so I'm going to fill these cups up. It's going to have, of course, my dogs are outside barking now. Um, I'm going to fill these up. I'm only needing six ounces in each cup. So we'll see if I overfill like I always do.
goodness. Got three puddles of gold to pour into. So let's get going. There's two. There is three, three puddles of paint. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to use what's left in my paint cups. Let's get to going.
You know, it, it's, it's, it's chaos, having three pours, but what I like about it so much is you really get three different scenes, and what I like about it is how it's divided with the yellow line. I'm loving how the red combined over here, and I'll bring you in for a close-up so you can see. But I'm loving how the red combined with the green kind of outline the little finger cells, which, you know, some people call them fingerlings. I think they look like little sperm swimming. Um, please don't take offense to that, people. Um, I just think it's funny, and that's just my suspicion. All right. I'm going to clean up my edges and I'll bring it out. Okay guys, I'm gonna bring you down and I'll show you a close up. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Studio lights are off so we can see it much clearer without all the reflection for the light. Here we go up here in this corner. Alright guys, so once this dries, I'll show you the dried result. I will be right back. This came out really cool. It really does look like three separate pieces because of that yellow dividing line. I'm loving this red tone that came through there. It's just really, really pretty. I'll bring you in for a close-up. I 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.